Hello YouTubers and welcome back to another episode on Go Custom Figures YouTube channel. Hopefully you've already watched my latest review on the uh, PLA um, Marine set. Um, I wasn't quite sure if that was the Marine set. I had to look that up. I should, probably should have looked that up before I started doing the video, but I didn't. Uh, so yeah, that was the Marine Corps, um, the Navy Marine Corps PL, um, PLA Navy Marine Corps external combat set. So the one I'm going to do a review now on is the is the um, anti-terrorism team. Uh, I just had to pause the video and go look it up because I don't learn from my mistakes. So I did the same thing and started recording the video before I figured out which set I was actually reviewing. Um, I started opening these things already and I thought, you know, I like doing figure reviews, but I do like doing unboxing videos at the same time. And since they've made some definite improvements on these figures, um, I think the stuff that they've made improvements on lends itself well to an unboxing video. So first off, I'm going to show you the, the couple of figures that I've already got into. Um, and then we'll do unboxing of the rest of them. Uh, to start off with, here is the, the box. Um, it's a nice box. It's the same style of art that was on the SEAL Team box. I think it's just a set of five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So the SEALs so far have been the only set of six. Um, I do like the artwork on this better than, than, than just the plain box and then the art on the individual boxes. The individual boxes are, again, the nondescript plain box. Uh, they're no longer listing them as figure A, B, C, D, and E or anything like that. They're just, they're just figures. And then of course they come with these, the new, the newer tubes, which take the top off, put your figure on, turn the tube upside down, and it immediately becomes a figure display. Take the top off, Turn it upside down, put your finger on it, figure figure on it, and put it onto the other one, and it becomes an interlocking stacking display, which I think is fantastic, fantastic idea. I think that um, these figures are a little again are a little expensive for figures you know compared to like anything Hasbro's putting out um, but I think between all of the improvements they've made on them the functionality the detail everything that goes into these figures and and a way to display them I think you get you get every penny that you pay for with these things um, so that's the figure display so, you know, again, one of the things I review is the box art um, because sometimes stuff is worth keeping on the card. Sometimes it's not, you know, I, I like I said in my last video, I did not get these guys to keep in the box. These guys are coming out to be played with. Um, and where I might have been a little more reluctant little more careful with with that with previous sets uh, if you've watched the review of the Marine Corps set you're gonna see, you'll see that they have made definitely definite noticeable improvements with these figures um, and let's look at the first guy here real real quick uh, I've already got him geared up uh, what's nice about this is They've already put on the thigh pads, so you don't have to pop the legs off. You don't have to pop uh, the belt and the body armor are on as well. Of course, it's all removable, and it, it says in the instructions that you can mix and match all this stuff, and you can. You can take this stuff off. I don't plan on mixing and matching, so this is, I like the fact that I don't have to spend half an hour putting it together anymore. The backpack is, is removable. Um, we can do that real quick here. And again, I don't know if this is, and see, this is one of the things that I 
mentioned in the previous review is the straps um, are not I've seen backpacks like this before where they've had straps like this but they've been molded it's been all of one piece so if the strap breaks you're screwed and it's it's a wash you know the backpack doesn't work these are pegged in there's see this came loose and it just pegs right back in since I am not going to take these guys apart again I will probably uh, put some glue in there and uh, glue it on so it doesn't come off but I think that is a fantastic way to make the functionality of this backpack work and and not have to worry about it breaking is because it's not not one molded piece it was a fantastic idea they hit it out of the park on that and yeah it, it's kind of irritating that it's on pegs now but I really don't care because that's an easy fix uh, new new the body armor is a new sculpt the belt is a new sculpt uh, the pad right pad I'm not sure I think is I think the thigh pads are, are old sculpts um, this, this is the anti-terrorism team you got a first aid kit there with which I think is pretty cool uh, the, again the one thing I don't like is the Republic of China flag on there, but like I said, customizer, that's an easy fix for me. Uh, and then we've got his weapon, which is some sort of variant on an AK, I'm assuming. I'm not up on my Russian and especially my Chinese weapons, so I don't couldn't tell you if that's a 74 or not. I don't, I don't know. Um, but uh, it didn't strike me until after I had made the video for the last one of what these figures kind of remind me of now. Uh, there was a line of toys called BBI, um, was just the name of the company, and that was uh, Blue Box Industries. And they made the old Elite Forces figures for a long time before they became a target line and the quality got worse. Um, oh, I love the smell of new toys. Mmm, I miss that. Um, but the figures were really durable. They were a softer plastic, which meant they didn't break. But the articula and they were fantastically sculpted. That's I used those figures uh, quite a bit in my customs. Uh, the the body armor on them is fantastic. Then the weapons that they come with are great. But the articulation is absolute shit on those figures. I never used those figures anything for anything in any of my customs aside from the heads now and again. Uh, so, you know, what'll happen, uh, what has happened since I've started customizing, I, I can't tell you the countless BBI figures that I've bought, Elite Forces figures that I've bought, stripped gear, pouches, and the weapons off of it in the head and helmet and thrown the rest of it away. I, I've probably gone through at least 50 or 60 of those BBI figures. This plastic that they're using now reminds me of the plastic that the, they were using in the BBI figures. It's that softer plastic. It has a definite smell to it, um, but it's a more durable plastic. I'm not worried about my joints breaking on these guys anymore because the plastic is soft, so it's not putting stress on the joints. Uh, the articulation in the ankles is great. Uh, this, these guys don't actually have the articulated toes like the other set does. Huh, that's interesting. Um, and it's got, that's kind of new too. It has um, the G.I. Joe, uh, like G.I. Joe wrists. So the right wrist goes up and down and the left wrist goes in and out. Uh, I noticed that on some of the, the newer G.I. Joe figures. So that's kind of a, kind of a change. Um, but the softer plastic is going to make these guys more durable. Uh, the joints on these aren't going to break. So the fact that they keep improving these things and making them more and more and more playable. I'm sorry. I am not enamored in any way, shape or form with six inch GI Joe guys. 
I know this is a very divisive opinion. Some guys are just dying for these things, and I have no use for anything six inch scale aside from Iron Man figures, but that's a whole different story. I don't customize six inch figures. I don't collect six inch other than one specific character. I have no use for G.I. Joe guys in six inch scale. That's one of the things that I absolutely detested about Star Wars when they went to the Star Wars Black series is they're making me, trying to make me pay more money for figures that I already have in a scale that I do not collect, which is absolutely useless to me. So for them to, for these guys to make improvements on these, to make them even more playable, is just, yeah, sorry. You can keep your six inch G.I. Joe guys. Joy Toy is getting all of, not all of, well, they're gonna get a significant portion of my toy money this year. Um, as long as the coronavirus doesn't shut down the factory. So, hopefully these guys don't have coronavirus on them, right? But like I said in the last video, it's paramedic. I'm not too worried about it. Um, so yeah, the articulation is fantastic on these guys. Uh, the paint is spot on. There are no, no paint errors on this. Um, with the softer plastic, straight out of the box, these guys are ready to be, ready to be played with. So that's your the first guy that I opened there. I'll set him aside. And then here's the second guy that I already opened. He's kind of got that uh, bullpup style sniper rifle, movable backpack, and an interchangeable head. So let's same articulation, same. Uh, same vest, same pouches, pistols removable, of course. Uh, the vest, of course, is removable. I'm not, I'm not going to take them off. But, uh, let's get his backpack on there. And this is, I don't, I don't remember which toy line that I've seen that had backpacks like this with straps, functioning straps like this. But previous, previous lines that have tried this. It's been all one piece, so that strap breaks, it's fucked. And they, the way they have done it is it's been all one mold, so if the strap breaks, you can't just glue it back together easily. But these are three individual pieces. This, each strap is an individual piece, and then the backpack is a, it's an own individual piece as well. So the, and it, the straps just peg in. So if there's going to be a, a failure of this, it's just gonna be a peg that comes out, which means it's easily fixed. So, you know, a little stress from playing and it breaks and you're able to fix it without any problems. Because anything like this, anything this thin, anything that's gonna take tension like this, has definitely has the potential to wear out over time, especially if you take it on and off. So for them to, to make something where it has a weak point, but make it so it's easily, readily fixable is just good forethought, in my, my opinion. So let's take off the head, and I love this helmet. I love the four monocular style night vision with kind of the gas mask filter on that. And then we're just gonna flop that out. See, my sculpted helmets don't seem to fit on that neck ball very well. I had that problem with one of the uh, Marines. The the helmeted figure didn't uh, helmeted head didn't sit very well on that neck ball. I think yeah, it just just doesn't want to go in there. So that's that's kind of a, a problem. Sort of, I think if you heated this up a little bit, um, softened the plastic a, a little bit, it would snap right on that neck ball. Of course, one of the other things you can do if you're a customizer is take a, a, um, a ball Dremel head to that and just shave off just a minuscule amount. So there he is with his backpack and interchangeable head and his sniper rifle. I like the color scheme on this. The 
all one color. All of drab is fantastic. It's a nice shade. Again, I'm not keen on the Republic of China flag, but what are you going to do? Uh, and the lack of toe articulation is not a big deal to me. Um, I think in the larger figures, 6-inch figures or 12-inch figures, it's, it's I don't say it's re a requirement, but I think it, it adds something to it. In a 118th scale figure, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. It's, it's a cool feature, but it doesn't really improve upon playability for me, in my opinion. So that's the second figure uh, with the interchangeable head. While these guys are supposed to be Asian, it doesn't it's, doesn't particularly look Asian to me. So I mean, that's one of the other nice things is these. Even though these guys are supposed to be a Chinese team, I think you know just removing that flag and a water slide decal, and these guys are just just fine for U.S. forces, or, you know, you can print your own water slide decals these days, and you can make any flag you want. These could be any nationality. That's the nice thing with the, these guys don't have a camo pattern on them, so they could be any, any nationality you wanted to with the water slide decal. So it comes in this little package. So I'm going to set that head aside. Hopefully my dogs has come to see me. I need to say hello to my dog. I just got home from overseas uh, last night, so. So we'll just put him back in here. And he comes with that interchangeable head again. Now this guy's definitely, definitely oriental. And I think, I think that would be uh, a cool head for like a snake eye, or uh, I'm sorry, a storm shadow custom. Uh, yeah, pretty much it's the same same sculpt, the same vest, same belt. Everything's, the, it's the same buck. Um, uh, yeah, my, one of the pegs has come loose on the backpack, and like I said, it, it will just peg right back in there. It hasn't, it might, you might technically consider it broken because it doesn't work like it should, but it's an easy fix. It's something that a dab of super glue and a little super glue accelerator, and that isn't going to be a problem anymore. Whereas companies that have made removable backpacks, you can't fix readily fix them like that. So the fact that they anticipated that this is going to be a problem and made it so that if it does fail, that it's easily fixable is just, it's just good engineering. It's, it's just like, you know, this is probably going to break. So let's make it in a, make it so if it does break, make it in a way that's you can fix it and not ruin your toy. So I'm going to swap off the head. I actually like that oriental head sculpt there. I kind of wish he was that was helmeted, though. And then he comes with whatever variant weapon this is. Uh, this one has a pistol grip where the other guy did not have a pistol grip on here. It's the foregrip on it. So there he is all geared up. Uh, and the, the crotches are shaved, are sculpted differently so that they can actually sit. I think they're still... Yeah, it's not quite perfect, but it's really close, and it's a big improvement over how they have been. So uh, I think that new crotch is um, a big improvement over what they have been doing. It's not quite perfect, but it's it's a lot better, making these guys a lot more functional. And like I said, the, the softer plastic, that kind of BBI plastic makes these guys very durable. I am not worried about breaking anything on any of these figures. So that's figure three there. Let's see here. Let's get the next guy out. Uh, 
the packaging does have a VR code on it. I haven't haven't taken a look at that to see what sort of website it takes you to because I figured it'll probably not be in English, so it won't really matter. So here's the next one. Uh, as much as I like the packaging, I've just got too much stuff to keep it. I did keep uh, one of the boxes to the SEAL teams, of course, because I, you know, I like SEALs, but... Oh, man, I missed that stuff. So, yeah, I guess we can look at the insert here. It's got a number five on it, so I'm not sure what specific... Because the, the set for the Marines had a three on it. Uh, the components. So it's got a picture of the guys there. Uh, there's product information on the back. We've got English, which my wife read while she was away and just absolutely loves one of the things here. Uh, the component parts can be assembled accessories, belt, bulletproof vest, leg armor, guns, daggers. Players can match. And that, you know, it's an English way of saying that all of this gear comes off and it's interchangeable, which is fantastic. Um, precautions. Stay away from fire. I think that's a good advice. I, mean, I think that's, you know, healthy life advice in general. Uh, do not play with violence. I like that. The leg armor can be re removed from the knee joint. The joints need to be inserted and pulled away after being heated by a, a blower. Um, I prefer, I, I thought about getting a, a, a heat gun I'm just for some of this kind of stuff. Um, I haven't decided on that. I've been using the hot water method with the coffee cup, uh, heating the water for three minutes in a microwave. But again, I haven't needed to. If you're going to take them apart, I would heat these guys up before taking them apart. Accessories such as accidentally drop when playing can be detached with 502 glue. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, it is more convenient to wear and take off the accessories after heating. So, yeah, heat these guys up if you're going to take them apart to mix and match the stuff. Um, applicable age, 15 years and older. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'd agree with that this time. Um, the, the, I mentioned that in my last videos. I, I would have lowered the age range for um, who I think these are good for based on the fact that these are a lot more durable all of the sudden and I don't think I don't they don't feel fragile at all this is what the BBI figure should have been uh, when they came out and this is honestly this is what G.I. Joe figures should have been for years and years and years now I, I can't even imagine getting like you know the uh, real American hero characters in this style of figure, I just it, it it would blow me away. I mean, that's why I customize this stuff is to get some of those, some of my favorite characters in this style. So here's the third guy, fourth guy, fourth guy, um, helmeted, uh, definitely Oriental. Uh, I kind of like that. Uh, like I said, I'm not. Uh oh, he is missing his pistol holster. It was not in there at all. Well, shit. His pistol is in there, but his pistol holder is not. Um, kind of disappointed by that, but as many holsters as I have in my fodder box, no big deal. I'll, and it's black, so that's easy to, for me to fix. Uh, I think it would be very irritating if I was not a customizer, however. If I was buying these as a collector and had no customizing skills, that might piss me off. Look at the backpack on him here, but for me, that's like, I probably have a dozen uh, loose holsters downstairs in my, in my fodder box. So, it, it's, that's a 30, 30 second fix for me here in a couple minutes. goes, vest is on, uh, again, 
another variation on the weapon. We've got a tack light and a pistol grip on there, and it looks like a silencer compared to the other one. Yeah. And then I think the stock, no, the stock is, eh, stock looks about the same. So there is figure number four. And these things just really are fantastic. They've done, you can, you can feel the, the, the change. You know, the, the softer plastic is immediately noticeable. The fact that the joints move freely without having to force them is immediately noticeable. These guys feel just like they were made to be played with where the other figures were like, yeah, I'm gonna be really careful with this guy and maybe not play with him very much, maybe pose him, take a couple pictures and that'll be it. But nah, these guys, these guys are meant to be played with. This is a fantastic improvement over what they have been doing. I suppose some people are gonna bitch about, well, that's how they should have been doing it to begin with. Yeah, you know, you learn from your mistakes. And the fact that these guys have listened to their customers and have actually sat down and re-engineered, you know, not only have they re-engineered the figure, they've changed the plastic that they're using and made these things so much. I figure made these, I mean, they were great to begin with, but now they're just amazing. They're amazing to begin with, but how do you get, how do you, how do you improve upon that? Well, they, they found a way. Uh, this is the weapon set, so we'll get into that one last. I was wondering what was in the sixth tube, so we'll get into that here in a minute. Ooh, it says 14 plus on the box, but in the instruction says 15 plus. Uh, in English, yeah, in, this is what my wife found amusing, and I mentioned this in one of my... Uh, other ones. The product is only for people aged 15 and over. Small parts in the package. Children are easy to eat. Please be careful. Be aware of the danger. So there you have it from the toy, Chinese toy company. It is very dangerous to eat children. It's only dangerous. Well, I was gonna say maybe it's only dangerous if you get caught, but. Not real big on eating children to, be, to begin with, so I think that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's get back. I'm already starting to get spread out here, and I know that must drive my wife crazy. I'm gone for a month, two months, and she's got a nice clean house, and then I come home and then there's toys and boxes spread all over the place. Little parts, little pieces. But of course, they're exploded. But I am redoing my basement, my whole basement, to make it, you know, the traditional term is man cave, but I started redoing the entire basement. Uh, I had it all in one room, but I spread out pretty much the entire down to my entire downstairs area uh, to, to have more of my collection on display, and I will be doing video on that shortly um, once I get it a little bit more uh, completed I'm still waiting on a few things a few pieces to come in to make it a little bit nicer so here is fifth and final guy we got the kind of the screaming face there which is kind of neat um, you know no helmet for this because it's an interchangeable head again, but uh, you know the Marauder stuff or the old BBI stuff would work just fine for these guys. Uh, I might actually use that on a custom. I kind of like the the yelling face, so I might actually take that head and put it on on a custom. So we get. Head on. Looks 
with the backpack on. I'm a little disappointed that, you know, one of my guys is missing his, his pistol holster. Um, I could probably, I've gotten in touch with uh, a, a locker room toys, I think it was, because one of my, I had one set that was missing a piece. Uh, it might have been BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store, but it was missing a piece. Uh, and I got in touch with them and they, um, they replaced it. I could probably do that, but I, I, to me, it's just easier to go downstairs and get a piece out of my fodder and, and put it, uh, and glue it on. So yet another variation, kind of a smaller stockier version with the pistol grip or the CQV. Joints feel a little stiffer on this one. Of course, I think I'm not, I don't know, maybe not. I think I was just trying to force the joint in a way it wasn't meant to go. So there you go. There's your fifth guy. I think these are a fantastic improvement on a product that was already great to begin with. There are no paint faults on this. On any of these guys um, you know like I said the one guy was missing a holster so there is still some QA QC issues with these guys but it's not enough to deter me from from giving these guys a lot more money um, so let's have a look at these guys here let me uh, get some stuff set up and let's take a look at them so here is the uh, anti-terrorism team with the Marines standing in front of that mech. I think these guys are fantastic figures. These are absolutely top-notch action figures. These are the G.I. Joes that I was dreaming about. Gosh, I wish Has Hasbro. Jesus Christ, look at these guys. This is what G.I. Joe should have been recently I can get that in focus a little bit better can you imagine if these guys were sculpted to look like the the old Joes I mean if they were easily identifiable and had gear like this and were this articulated man I would spend way too much money on that all right, so let's see what's in that uh, sixth tube with accessories. I almost forgot about that. Oops. I think it wasn't a dog under that. All right, so the sixth tube came with... Looks like some replacement joints. And I gotta be honest, aside from the very first set that I had, with the, which was the, the Marine Corps, um, I have not needed any of my replacement joints. So I think that's fantastic. All right, so uh, we've got a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. Which, I don't know, it's kind of goofy looking to me, honestly. It might look good hanging on a vehicle somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to give it to any of my guys. Uh, extra joints, which are just going to go in a Ziploc bag with the extra heads. And this is the bag for my Marines. So the extra heads are going to go in here, and then this just goes in somewhere until on the table. Drive my wife crazy with shit laying around. And then here's the extra weapon that it came with. Nothing too fancy. So that's what was in the uh, sixth tube. Uh, a weird looking rocket launcher and uh, extra gun and some extra joints. So that is my review on the uh, anti-terrorism team. Uh, I 
think there's one or two more uh, PLA sets that are going to be coming out. Uh, you know, again, like I said, I'm not too keen on the PO, on the uh, Republic of China flag on it, but that's an easy fix for me as a customizer. Uh, the packaging, I always review, you know, three or four things. The packaging is, is nice. It's, it's a nice, pretty box. I think the box would look nice on display. Um, the, the tubes that these things come with uh, are fantastic if you, for, to display these guys or any other 118 scale action figure for that matter, and you can buy the tubes, the stackable tubes, uh, in, uh, not individually, but they come in a set of three, I think. If I remember correctly, I think it's like 20 bucks for three. I, uh, I don't know if that's a good price or not. Um, probably for what it is, I think that's probably a reasonable price. Uh, playability, you know, these these are off the charts for playability. Um, the, so the softer plastic makes the joints less likely to break. I think people, you're going to see a lot less uh, people complaining about broken figures. Um, you know, obviously some QA, QAC issues still, since one of my guys is missing a holster, but still came with the pistol. Um, and then customizing, you know, you know I, I've said that these, I think these would make fantastic customs, uh, just based on the articulation and uh, the detail and the sculpt. Um, but I think the for a lot of people, it's going to be cost prohibitive because I think this was a $90 set still um, from Locker Toys. I think it's a little bit in 94 maybe from Big Bad Toy Store, if I remember correctly. I don't really I don't really recall right off the top of my head. But I'll tell you what, when you break it down to uh, the price per figure, I think it comes out to about 50 regardless. I think it comes out to about 15 bucks a figure. And for what you get... For a, an interlocking display and a highly articulated figure with interchangeable gear, you can't beat that price. Yeah, it's expensive because you you're buying a, a bunch of them at once. You know, and, it, and I think it for the people that are on a, a, a tighter budget, um, it, it's difficult to to throw down all at once. But if you're saving up for these things, or you know, like I do, I splurge every once in a while. You know, once every couple months on these sets when they come out absolutely worth every penny just when you thought they couldn't make these things better they've knocked it out of the park once again and improved on that. to me these are as perfect as action figures as I've seen uh, for realistic military figures period hands down um I think that's about all I got for this particular video. Uh, I did, like I said in my last video, I did get some other stuff while I was away, so I'll probably do a couple more reviews on stuff. So I'll uh, look for future videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Please comment below, please share, pr please like, please subscribe to the channel, all that social media stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.